So we got some mildly acceptable cameras released in 2023. What's gonna happen next year? This year should be the golden goose year for cameras, or it just implodes on itself. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the DJI Pocket 3, skateboarding to my mum's. You know, I never look back at the year that was. It kind of annoys me just looking like what was released in 2023. There was a lot of good stuff, but like, look, what's next is what I'm focused on. Never the past, like, why are we looking? Oh, that was fun. We got the DJI Pocket 3. There's basically two somewhat perfect cameras right now. The DJI Pocket 3 and the Sony a7S III. That's it. So like, we're hoping to beat that both of them. These should be irrelevant by the time December hits in 2024. And if it's not, the wrath of the hammer shall be upon thou. Leave me alone. I'm on a skateboard. You piece of shit. This is dangerous. This, why are you chasing me? Look. All right. I'm sure Canon's going to release something soon. Okay. Just relax. It's going to be fine. I'll buy it. Maybe the 200 to 800. R1, I'm sure it'll be great. Just leave me alone. I'll buy it. That's nice, huh? Is the R1 gonna be $7,500,000? So here's what I expect to happen in 2024. Let's start with Sony. I would love to see an actual Pro ZV-1 Mark III that's actually good. You have to compete now with the DJI Pocket 3 and you could surpass it if you bring back the 960 frames per second and improve upon it, obviously from the ZV-1. You could already do that. So you're bringing it back. You're actually putting stabilization in something. It's an actual 3D pop Zeiss lens with a nice stab in the lens plus a small crop 10% crop for the active stave, and then you relax. And okay, you have your dynamic mode. That should be brought down to 20% instead of 30. He has a bum. Did you see it? So like, you could do something, or a camcorder. I'm not even gonna ask for the Sony X4000. We know that's irrelevant, but you should be doing that, but nobody is, and you're dumb. Sony is full of dumb reptilians. Oh, my eyes are bleeding. Safety first, kids. Safety first. Oh man, usually there's a break in the cars. Oh, we're going the wrong way on a one-way street. After this guy, I'm out of here. Oh, what's happening? Move, move along, old man. There we go. I would also like a Sony a7S IV. Something really nice. You're just higher on the frame rates and not higher on the resolution. There's some rumors that it's gonna do 6K. That will really suck. If you're talking like 6K 30P is your main selling point. That's really gonna hurt me, man. So like we're doing 4K 240P because Sony can do that. You leapfrogged so much from the A7S 2 to the 3. We need another leap for mankind on that one. So HD 480 frames is coming finally. Low light, pretty good, except ISO 3200 for whatever reason is terrible still, whatever. A new and improved Sony Color Science, can we do something like that? I don't, I'll tell you, I don't terribly mind it. When it's like standard color or even S Cine tones, you exaggerate my zits. But if I can get rid of the zits, then like I won't mind it so much. So like that's on me. Sony Color Science, I have to earn it. And then, like, it will be fine. I wouldn't mind seeing an 800 mil Prime somehow. A Sony, like, smaller than the Nikon beating it. Because if you don't, I'm switching. I'm, like, all I can think about is Nikon. Everything is Nikon now. Speaking of Nikon, I think we're going to be somewhat disappointed in the Z6 II, three. I don't know. Like, you have your really nice... All I want is a firmware update for the Z... Oh, God. I thought I had so much more time. It's not illegal if you apologize. Sorry for running away. Um, 
Nikon Z8 firmware adding HD 480 frames per second. Don't pretend you can't do it. You're doing 8K 60 raw and like, oh, HD 120. No, up that. So if you're not going to do that, then we need a Z8 Mark II with higher frame rates. Slow-mo is what we're all shooting for here. How slow would that guy be? Imagine him. Imagine him slower than he was. But really, all I want is the Nikon A7S IV, a video-centric, low-megapixel, super-high frame rate thing. That's kind of what I want from everyone, but I would really love it if Nikon was the one to pull it off. And as for lenses, just make more of your vintage, like 40 mil Tony 2 type of things for all the focal lengths. And they're like vintage, low element count, cheap, but amazing. You've done it already, so do it again. Do it more. Like seven more times. A wide angle. When it comes to Canon, I gotta be honest with you. I like the R8 image, but using that camera is really annoying just for the menu diving potential that you're always doing just to switch any mode manual focus like you got to hold a button i still haven't gotten an answer from you anybody canon shooters how do you just switch into manual focus easy nikon apparently has the best system you just start doing it you manually focus and it just works and then if you want to go back to autofocus a little half press of the shutter in video and it all works what kind of Ghost car is that? You want to race? Homeboy? Oh, he won. Oh, damn engines. You know the most annoying thing to change into sea log? Like, it's not only that you have to dive into the menu and then select from a certain group and then you're like, oh, a new sea log three on. Yeah, like, why isn't it one button press from the standard profile menu on the quick shot thing? It's so annoying. And then the high frame rates are even worse to switch into. You gotta turn one on. Like, can we be done with that? How about, like, a monkey use your camera and give you tips? Because he'll be better at it than whoever's in charge right now. I'll tell you that much. It'd be nice if Canon would come out with some nice vintage lenses too. Because the RF glass, the super expensive stuff, I'm pretty sure it does not have 3D pop. And you're so expensive and heavy. For what? when you could have a light budget prime Tony 2 come on so like Canon I don't know I'm not sure that I even I have all these amazing EF lenses and I don't think there's going to be a body that will even beat my R8 and how about a nice to edit file system for once so I can edit the files I can't even really use log and smile while I edit because I cry it's like hard stupid my computer's good enough. It was built in the wrenches, the trenches of 2019 technology. It was good enough. I don't think they're gonna beat the R8 this year. Like that's, for like the price and the weight and the features, I doubt we're gonna see like an EOS R Mark II. I don't think anything fun is coming for Canon. It's gonna be that R1 late, like December. We'll get nothing. So like, I don't know, it's a good time to run away from Canon. Sell your system, quick. We've done Nikon, Sony, Canon. <sighs> Panasonic, I don't know, man. I don't know what you're doing, you're fat. Just like make something small again. You're micro four thirds. You're not competing in almost any area low megapixel super like 4k 480 frames per that's what i'm asking from you in a small body just do it just make it happen i just don't get that excited when thinking about panasonic for some reason i don't know i finally sold my teleconverter for the like a 200 prime at least i got a chunk of it sold so now i'm still trying to sell the lens and people are gonna be like where's the teleconverter shut up it's cheaper so like I don't know man what do they have that's special there's no real reason and not many people are shooting I'd rather have a black magic something I would love to see a black magic 4k mark 2 with a flippy screen and basically the same 
maybe a little bit of slow-mo. I'd be quite happy with that thing. I wish I bought that 4K. I'm so stupid. I'll never see that deal again. A thousand dollars. It had an SSD and everything, the cage. And I also saw one, just the body for like $8.95. Now the next lowest price I've seen is $2,500. It's $1,800 new. Leave me alone with all your extras. Your bullshit Miki lenses. But let's be honest. Like, say they do come out with a, a lightweight, like, G95 Mark II type of thing with phase detect. and It'd be cool, but it's probably not even going to match the DJI Pocket 3. So it's like... A lot of cameras have died because of this machine. Good luck beating that one. Like, to have this weight and the specs, Panasonic might match it in specs. I doubt they even will. It, something's going to be off, so I don't know, Penny Boy. I do wish you luck, and do send me whatever you do release. We're still cool, right? We're not cool. Safety first. It's a flashing red light, and that means I can go whenever I want. You know the one thing that does suck about the DJI? When you flip around, I'm in face exposure. So everything just gets dark. Unless you're back to me, then I'm dark and then it will brighten up. It's not great. So good luck filming that woman. <laughs> she gave me a thumbs up. She had pink pants or shirts. Nice, blue and pink, it works. I would like to see a one inch action cam that beat the specs in this. That'd be fun. I would like that to be the Sony X4000, but whatever. GoPro 13, you might be able to do it. DJI Action 5, I don't know. But like, what's the point? This is gonna look better. Someone better make one in focus. Or how about some Insta360 firmwares that change the color science? Or I have to get less zits. I understand. It's on me. Honestly, I'm pretty content with what I have now. DJI Pocket 3 for vlogging, A7S 3 for wildlife, potentially upgrading to a Nikon system for wildlife. My only real hope is for better slow-mo somewhere. So I might have to look into the actual like slow-mo cams like that Free Fly Ember or the Kronos 4K12. I don't know, man. I reached out to them. They're like, we'll consider it. We've got a lot of requests to lend you a camera. Relax, you're on the bottom tier. We'll get to you in a couple years. So we're not holding our breath on that one, but that would be fun. So 2024 for me is going to be all about more slow motion. I would love to see a Huawei P70 Pro that actually beat the specs of my P40 Pro that your two generations have not done. They're not better, they're worse. So like something like that, and I'm definitely thinking of switching everything over to Nikon. So be on the lookout for that. If they release something nice, I'm right in there. Full frame Nikon, that needs to be in my life. So I think that should be good. What do you think's gonna happen 2024? Something good or something terrible? Come on, good thing, slow-mo. I want it. Sure, I never use it to its full potential, but I could get lucky. Pigeons or something. I'll leave. How you doing? Subscribe for more videos. See you later.